for the eyes, we're going to start with black yarn and make a magic ring. And in the magic ring, you're going to do a chain one and then five single crochets. So that's five. And now you're going to pull the little tail to tighten it. And we'll start row two where we're going to put an increase in every other stitch and we're going to put our first increase in the first single crochet. It's a little hard to see because the yarn is black, but it says five, four, three, two, and this one is the first stitch. So we're going to go in there with an increase. Here you're going to be two single crochets. So there's one single crochet and another. That's our increase. Next one gets one single crochet and repeat that. Next one gets two and then one and then two. Okay, so now we should have eight and you're going to go back to that first single crochet and pull through and we're going to leave it here because we're going to switch colors now to white. Um, so you can cut the black yarn. Now we'll switch colors. So we'll pull that white yarn through the loop, go to the back, and we're going to tie the black and white together so that way it's secure. And for our third and final row, we're going to do the same thing as row two. So chain one and then an increase in the first stitch. One single crochet in the next. And just go all the way around with this and when you're done and you cut the tail you want to leave the tail kind of long because that's how we're going to sew the eye onto um, the body okay so that's the end of this row and then you'll go into that first single crochet and you'll pull the yarn through and like I said before you want to leave the tail kind of long so I'll cut it like there and that's one eye and you're going to want to make another one of these for a total of two eyes Okay, so for the chain saw, we're going to start with light gray yarn and we're going to make a chain of five. And then you're going to go to that fourth stitch with a single crochet. And you're going to go down this entire chain with a single crochet in each stitch. So you should have a total of four single crochets. Like that and then you're going to turn your work and we want the chainsaw to be kind of curved to fit the curve of his head so we're going to put an increase at the end so I increase right there and then you're going to do two single crochets in the next two stitches and the fourth and last stitch gets another increase And now we're going to kind of turn it or, or rotate it, I guess, and we're going to be working down this side. And this can be a little harder to see the stitches, um, but do your best. So um, you'll kind of see like these lumps on the side. So that's the first, second, third, and then fourth. So in the first one, we're going to do the same thing with an increase in that stitch. And then just two single crochets and then an increase in that last one 
And that is the inside part of the chainsaw. Um, I cut this kind of long because we're going to use this to sew it in. And then you can grab your dark gray yarn and then we'll work on like the blade of the saw. So we're going to change the color and leave this tail long again um, because, you know, we'll use it to sew in the end and tie that together. So now um, this is like the front. We're going to flip the work and we'll be working to the left. And we're going to do an increase in the first stitch. And a chain one and a double crochet in the next stitch. Then we'll do a chain one and a single crochet in the next stitch. And you're just gonna kinda go around and do this. So I just did a single crochet, then I'll do a chain and a double crochet, then a chain and a single crochet. Chain, double crochet, chain, single crochet. And just go all the way around with this. And you'll end with an increase again at the very end. So there is the chainsaw. Okay, so for the handles, there's two of them. One is shorter and the other is a bit longer. Um, but we're going to make two of them and they start off the same. So for the shorter one, it'll be 10 rows long and the longer one will be 15 rows long. Let's start it first. You want to leave a long tail, which is a reoccurring theme. In this project um, so that we can sew it all in and you're going to chain four now this part gets kind of confusing um, but basically we kind of just want to wrap this around into like a circle and then we're going to just build up this little cylinder so you're going to take your work flip it to like the back and then Fold it in half, kind of, so that the first chain you have is like right over the last chain you just did. And you're going to stick your hook into the top um, loop of that first stitch. And then you're going to pull your yarn through. And honestly, this part is like the hardest part of the project to me. But you see how we've made like a little ring? And then we'll be working up this way to make a, a long um, cylinder. So each row is going to have four stitches, one for each chain that we did. And you're going to start with a chain one and a single crochet into that same stitch, which can be kind of hard to see, but it's right there. And this one is our second chain. Go in there with a single crochet. There's our third chain. And that's our fourth chain. So that's four. So that's the first row. Um, I'll make the shorter one first. So this one will be, will be 10 rows, and then you'll make another one that is 15 rows tall. And to put these, um, put the end and the beginning together, we're gonna find the first single crochet, and I find it's helpful to sometimes count backwards because I know that this is four, this is three, this is two, so this one is the first one. So I'm going to go into both loops of the first single crochet, pull through, do a chain one, and repeat the process of one single crochet in each stitch for a total of four. You're just going to keep going until you get um, it to the desired length and then cut the tail long at the end. Okay, so I finished um, one of the cylinders and as you can tell, it's very like narrow, I suppose. Um, and you're going to cut the end kind of long. And you're going to make another one of these that is um, 15 rows long. 
For the arms and legs, you're going to make four of these and you're going to start with a magic ring with a chain one and then five single crochets. Then you can pull to tighten it. And for row two, we're going to go into that first single crochet. and pull through and we're going to do increases in every other stitch so we're going to do chain one and increase in the first stitch and then just one single crochet in the next and then an increase and so on and so forth and you should have a total of eight stitches after this row So for row three, we're going to go into that first stitch again. And this time we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch. Chain one and one single crochet in each stitch. And you're going to make three more of these for a total of four. Okay, so for the body, we're going to start with a magic ring and do a chain one and then five single crochets. And then pull to tighten and stick your hook into the first single crochet. and pull through. And for row two, we're gonna do a chain one with an increase in each stitch. Increase would be two single crochets in each stitch for a total of 10. Row three, we're going to do an increase in every other stitch. So that's going to be chain one, increase in the first stitch, the same stitch where the chain one is from, and then one single crochet in the next one, and then increase and one. And you're going to go all the way around and do this for a total of 15. So this is row three. For row four, we're following the same pattern where we're going to do an increase, but this time we're going to do two single crochets after this. We're going to do one single crochet and another. So it goes increase, single crochet, single crochet. Um, and yeah, just go all the way around for a total of 20. Okay, so row four is done. For row five, we're going to do a chain one, which I already did. And then we're going to do an increase. And then we're going to do three single crochets. So there's the increase. Then we have one, two, and three. And at the end of this row, you should have a total of 25 stitches. So just go around and do this. All right, so that's row five. For row six, we're gonna do a chain one, an increase. And then we're going to put um, four single crochets in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four. So an increase and then four. You just go all the way around and you should have a total of 30 stitches. Okay, so that was row six. Now for row seven, we're going to do a chain one, an increase, and we're going to switch it up this time. Um, we're going to do nine single crochets after this increase. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine. And you're just gonna do this all the way around and you have a total of 33. And we do these, um, we do this because we want the cylinder to not just like be super sharp and have like an edge. We want it to kind of like round off. Um, so yeah. All right, so that row is done and that is our last row of increases. And so now we're just going to build the body, but we're going to build it in segments because we need to sew everything on like accordingly. So like we'll stop here, really zoomed in, we'll stop like here to do like the eyes and stuff and then stop here again and then stop here. Um, so we're going to do it in segments. So the first segment, we're going to stop at row 10. So right now, I think we just did row 7. So you want to keep going um, now with just a single crochet in each stitch until row 10. And then we'll go ahead and sew on the features. Okay, so I did 10 rows and now we're gonna start sewing. And we're gonna start with the chainsaw. Um, so there should be like a seam of where you do like those chains um, when you start each row. And we want that to be at the bottom. So the chainsaw should be on the other side of that seam, like that. And um, I find it helpful to put the dark gray spots down first and so one part of it is going to be in this space um, after the third row we did so that's one two three so it'll be in this space after the third row and then the other um, dark gray part is going to be right before the tenth row so you can go ahead and just sew these um, dark spots in first and then you can use a whipping stitch to do the gray, light gray part So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I'm not gonna show you just because it will take um So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to do the whipping stitch and Also um, the back stitch for other things where we, we sew on but um, then after that um, Just because it takes so long. I'm probably not gonna show you how to sew on everything I think you also just start to get the hang of it, but I'm going to sew this on first. So this is one, two, three, right there. I'm just going to do a little stitch here. Just kind of like one stitch there, and I'm going to leave this yarn out for now. I'm going to tie it later, and then I'm going to do the other side. Um, and also, as you sew, I do this all the time. It's super annoying. Sometimes I sew this loop in. I try to avoid that because it's such a mess to like try and fix. Um, that is my advice. And put. I'm gonna see where it matches up. That looks good. We'll do it like there. Cool. So now that the dark gray is on, I'm going to take the light gray, the longer one. This end you can kind of weave in. I'm going to take the longer one. And I'm just going to do a whipping stitch, which it just kind of does like a spiral motion, sewing the two parts together. So you just kind of go down and up. So I'm going to go down, come up, and then bring part of the gray part with me and just kind of do this all the way up. So that is on and then I'm going to go to the inside. Um, and since these two are so close to each other, I'm just going to tie them together to secure them, um, like that. And then this last one over here, I think it might be an unconventional way of sewing, I'm not sure, but I'm going to put the yarn back on the needle, and I'm going to slip the needle under, it can be any stitch, but I'm just going to do this one. Like that. And it should form this little loop. And you're just going to wrap the yarn around the loop, stick the needle in there, and it makes a little knot. 
And to just make sure it's extra secure, I'm going to do another little knot. And then you can kind of trim these a bit. You don't have to trim them super short because, you know, they're, they say inside. Um, but just so that way when you sew other stuff, it's a little less confusing. All right, so now we're going to sew the eyes on. And the eyes are going to be, um, so at the very, like, top where we sewed in the top part, the eyes are going to be, like, four stitches away from here. So this is the top, and it goes one, two, three, four. So the eye should go kind of right there, like that. And you're going to start sewing um, in this gap again and just go all the way around with a back stitch this time. Oops. And let me show you what that is. So you're going to stick your needle down there. And then you're going to come up not um, at the second stitch, but the third stitch. And then you're going to go backwards into the second stitch. Like that. So we went back into this stitch. Now we're going to skip this one, come up from this one, the third one. Like that. And then go back down into the one right below it. And you're going to go all the way around. And just sew this eye on um yeah and then you'll do the same on the other side okay so now we're gonna put on his little mouth um so you're gonna grab some black yarn and just make a loop on your hook and then you're going to take it off of your hook and stick your hook in a spot right under the chainsaw and go inside Put it back on your hook and now we're just going to make chains um, but it's going to be a little harder just because we're going to be doing a chain on this um, you know crocheted piece um, so you're just going to go down I believe two times you're going to go down once and you're going to be grabbing the yarn and pulling it up and then through the other loop. I'm gonna do that one more time. Our next one's gonna be right in the center. Grab the yarn and then pull it through. That's two. And now we're just gonna start slightly curving it so it just makes a little smile. Um, I don't really have like a specific way to do this. Just some like, do whatever you think looks right or feels good. Um, because sometimes, you know, everyone crochets differently. So sometimes directions don't, um, you know, they won't result in the best possible outcome. I'm just gonna make his smile curve up a bit. Something like, like that. And then you're going to just pull through to make a little knot. Pull that yarn down. And then you're gonna do the same to the other side, but you're gonna kind of start from the middle and just make his little smile there. All right, so I put his little face on and now we're going to work on the next segment. So you're gonna go up to row 16, and then we're gonna put on the front leg and the handle. So this is row 16, and now we're gonna put on the legs. So with the legs, remember we did like our fourth row, we had like um, some extra stitches so that it slants up. You're gonna want that slanted up end to kind of go like that. So that way his legs are pointing like downwards instead of sticking out. And you're going to you're going to want one side to be at the same seam where we sewed in the eye. So like right there. Then it should span um, four rows. So you're going to use a whipping stitch to put this on like that. 
and do the same thing for the other side. And then for the top for the handle, you are going to put it, you're going to start um, like in the space right before our last row and it should take up two rows like that. And you're going to put those two ends together and um, they should kind of be like above the eyes like that. Um, and it kind of bends into place. Okay, so I put on the legs and the handle. And now we're going to do four more rows till we get to row 20. And then we're going to do a row of decreases. Um, and I'm going to show you how we do that then. If you okay, so this was row 20. And now we're going to do a row of decreases. And the way we do a decrease... Oops. The way we do a decrease, you're going to do a chain one. And then um, we're not, since it's, it's really hard to do a decrease in the first stitch, we're just going to do a normal single crochet in that one. But the next one, um, we're going to grab only the front loop of this stitch and the front loop of the next stitch. And then we're going to pull through those front loops then pull through both. And this combines those two stitches together. So that was an increase. And then we'll do nine single crochets. And then we'll do another decrease, grabbing the front loop of one and the front loop of the next. Pull through both front loops, pull through both. So go ahead and finish this row of decreases and then we'll go ahead and add on the back legs. All right, so for the back legs, same thing as kind of the front legs, um, you're gonna put it from this space here to this space here. So I put on the back legs, and now we're going to do our next row of decreases. So we're going to put a single crochet in the first stitch, decrease, and this time it's going to be four single crochets between every decrease. So one, two, three, four, and then a decrease. All right, so that was the last row of decreases. Now we're into the next one, which is going to be every um, fourth. So we're going to put three single crochets between them. So let me show you. We do a decrease like that, and then three single crochets. And you're going to go all the way around following this pattern. So I finished that row of decreases. Now we're going to put the tail on. And the tail, we're just going to stick it like right there. So it should take up like two rows and kind of just be like right in the middle. Um, you can just kind of do like whatever stitch you kind of want um, and just secure it on. So yeah, go ahead and put the tail on and then we'll continue doing decreases and seal this up. And then after we seal it up, we're going to put on this handle. All right, I put the tail on. Now we're going to continue with the decreases. So this time we'll do chain one and a single crochet and then a decrease and we're going to put two single crochets between each decrease so this is one and this is two and then another decrease and then two single crochets and so on and so forth until you complete this row all right so now um, our hole is getting smaller so you want to start stuffing it with like scrap yarn or stuffing and we're going to have two more rows of decreases. In the next row of decreases, you're going to put a decrease in every other stitch. And in the last row of decreases, you're going to put it in every single stitch. Um, so yeah, go ahead and do that. All right, so I sealed the bottom. And just to make it look a little neater, I'm just going to kind of go across and grab that other stitch. I'm just going to grab a couple of them, actually. Um, I just do kind of like one big decrease like that pull through cut the yarn and then we want to like seal this in because this looks kind of weird so you're just going to kind of stick your hook anywhere in the body and kind of like stay on the surface or near the surface and then we're just going to pull the end through Like that. That looks nice. And then just kind of like poke it in there. Like that. Alright, so we are done.
But last thing, last detail, we want to sew this on. And this was a little confusing to me because we're sewing it um, even though it's like all closed already. But it's not too hard. It's actually pretty easy. Um, so we're going to turn it around to the back and we are going to stick one end like right there below the tail and the other like down there. Um, it doesn't quite matter. I just kind of guess. And you're just going to sew how you usually do. But this time it's just a little strange because um, it's not really like an opening you can go through. But it's still like possible and it's quite simple. So just sew it on there. Um, and then you can tie a knot like usual and like we did before with the like that little ending piece, you can kind of pull it through into the body, but I'll show you how I do that. All right, so that's that. Now I'm going to tie a knot again by slipping it under a stitch. And then I'm just going to poke my needle through, pop it out at some random corner, like that. And I'm just going to cut it a bit and poke that end in, like that. So not too hard, um, and then just put it on the other end and do the same thing. And then you'll be done. All right, so I put the last handle on and you are now done. So I know this project was kind of hard, but hopefully um, it turned out okay and you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to help you. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching.